presidents. In 2011, when they defeated MMD, they petitioned all the seats of MMD and caused 33 by-elections, the majority of which they won. We are not on that path. What is happening presently is that individual members with the right so to do have petitioned. Because truth be said, in this just ended the elections, PF had no idea they would lose, so they were committing gross electoral malpractice with impunity. Even I in Choma, I won, but it was against all odds. It is that kind of impunity that must be brought to an end. The opposition Patriotic Front has started preparations for the general conference to elect the new party president. PF Secretary General Davis Mueller says the general conference will also elect a new party secretary general and national chairperson. And speaking at the same briefing, PF Vice President Given Lubinda urged all party structures countrywide to wake up and start reorganizing the party. We have started the process of uh, bringing in new leaders a transition of handing over the Office of President, the Office of the Secretary General, the Office of the National Chairman. These three positions, we've made it clear that uh, we are not going to continue. So the party, they have to look for a President, they have to look for the Secretary General, they have to look for the National Chairman. I've heard about defections mostly from the press, but I have not yet heard of any senior member of the party who has defected. I heard about my friend, Dr. Hamukale. However, he did not say that he was defecting. What he said is that he was resigning from politics. He's retiring from politics because he wants to pursue another career. If you give me names of senior members of the PF who have defected from the PF to other parties, then I would comment. The UPND Alliance says it will remain intact regardless of whether or not the allocation of government positions will be balanced. Alliance spokesperson Tabo Kawana says political entities are not in the alliance to merely share the positions, but to forge partnerships in an effort to improve the welfare of Zambians. Mr. Kawana said this at a press briefing in Lusaka today. Meanwhile, Mr. Kawana has castigated politicians claiming that President Hakainde Hichilema has taken long to roll out his cabinet. African Women Foundation founder and President Joseph Moyo has called on President Hakainde Hichilema to nominate more women into cabinet. Mr. Moyo has told ZNBC News that the organization is concerned that the current parliament uh, complexion does not have balance. He says a lack of a strong voice from women may affect some important decisions concerning the general women populace. Mr. Moyo has since congratulated the parliamentarians for choosing prominent lawyer Nelly Muti as the country's first woman speaker of the National Assembly. We suggest that the president having this prerogative of appointing members of parliament he can take into consideration and use that privilege that he has to ensure that those eight members of parliament are actually women. It will not bring the house into parity, gender parity, but it will help at least in ensuring that more women are represented. The Zambia Development Agency has signed an investment promotion and protection agreement with CGM Power Group for the development of a 350 megawatts PV solar power project in the Northern Circuit. CGM Power Group Director Sagunan Gangadaran says the project will be actualized over a period of seven years from 2022 in a phased manner. Mr. Gangadaran says uh, the solar project will start with one PV solar power plant in Mansa district and that the first phase is designed at 50 megawatts. And ZDA board chairperson David Masupa say the 350 million United States dollars PV power plant is a testament of the country's commitment to green energy. 